guys, welcome to my 27 week pregnancy vlog. Um, today I'm 27 weeks, six days pregnant. Um, tomorrow I am officially in my third trimester. You can hear the little voices and the little feet. Um, we had such a good week. So our very good family friends, the Wanganines have been staying with us and they have three little girls, um, Kitty, who is five, and Lulu, who is four, and Posey, who will be three next month. Um, and they've all been staying with us, so the girls have all been sleeping downstairs and um, with Bodie, and Forrest has been sleeping with us, and then Posey has been sleeping in our playroom. And my mum has been here, and she has been sleeping on the couch <laughs> and um, Izzy's been in his room and then um, the Wanganines have been in our spare room so our house is full right now we currently have how many people five six seven eight nine ten eleven people sleeping in our house right now and I love it there's just something about the chaos that I'm so drawn to and it's really helped remind me how much I just love having so many kids around and, and um, you know Pippa and Gav have been getting a bit of work done while they've been here and um, so I've been offering to have the girls and it's been really nice just hanging out with them and, and seeing Mark be with little girls because he hasn't had that experience before and he's just been reflecting back to me how much he's been enjoying it which is really cute. Um, so it's been such a good week. We went to Minnesota this week and we saw Mark's family, you know, which there was a lot of emotions involved there. I, I spoke a little bit about that in the blog post. Um, but it was just so wonderful to be there and to remind the boys about their dad's side of the family because our kids only know my side of the family I mean obviously Isaac knows his mum's side of the family and his stepdad's side of the family but in terms of our little boys they just know grandma and grandpa and nanny which are my it's my dad's stepmom and my mum um but they don't they're not familiar with any of Mark's family really because they live on the east coast and we haven't been getting out there very often um <clears throat> And so it was really important for us to get out there and spend time with them and introduce the boys to them and, and yeah, just show the kids where Mark's from and what his life was like. And he was a little homeless boy on the cold streets of Minnesota. So to drive around, it was so freezing. We were talking about, you know, daddy used to not have a house to sleep in. He used to sleep on these streets in tents and in cars and you know, the kids were asking lots of questions about it and it was really, it was really sweet. And I, tonight I heard Bodhi telling his friends, you know, Kitty and Lulu who were staying with us, do you know that my daddy was homeless when he was a little boy and he survived being homeless? Um, and so I can tell he's really proud of Mark and they're just interested in those stories. And I think it's important for, for them to know Mark's heritage and where he came from and what his experiences were when he was their age so it was really it was a wonderful trip and it was very much needed um oh what else has been happening this week oh tomorrow we're doing a really cool thing um we're getting together with a, a bunch of my friends and we're all doing um uh like boards we're all making boards and putting images on the boards that are inspiring to us. So, you know, we're using it as something that we can focus on and we can work towards and there are goals. Um, some people uh, call it a vision board. And so we're kind of getting together and we're just really talking about what all of our goals are for this year and, and what we are wanting to achieve and the things that we want to call in. And it, I think it'll be a really beautiful evening so there's just a bunch of us doing it and um that'll be really fun and it's nice to just get clear and focused on the things that we set out to achieve so I actually haven't really thought a lot about it to be honest and 
it'll be great because it's an exercise in which you actually are forced to think about what is it that I really want? What do I, what do I want to get done this year? And I guess it's kind of the perfect time because I didn't make any new year's resolutions. And, um, I think that this is a really good way to kind of make some resolutions and figure out the things that I want to work on and work towards. So it'll be cool to do that as a collective group and really put that intention out there. And, um, yeah, so I'm excited about doing that. Um, we're going to Disneyland this week, which will be great. Take the kids. And it's the very last week that we're in LA. So we leave next Sunday. So that's in like five days. I'm heading out to London. I'm going to go and um, attend the um, National Television Awards because my show Discovery of Witches is nominated, which is really exciting and crazy for a first time show. Um, you know, it's our first season and Oh, it's been very overwhelming. The response has been incredible and we're up against some phenomenal shows like Killing Eve and The Bodyguard. So that's all really positive news in terms of the work stuff. And so Mark and I and the little boys are heading out to London. I'm going to go do that. And then we go back to Australia and we're going to really just get into settling in and funnily enough we're doing renovations which is so funny because when I was 32 weeks pregnant we started renovating my house back in Adelaide um, and the renovations finished when I was 38 weeks pregnant with Forrest and it's funny because I'll probably be about 38 weeks pregnant by the time we finish renovating the second time so it's cool it's like we did our first stage of renovations when I was pregnant with Forrest and now we're doing our second stage and the second stage includes doing like a big epic kids bedroom and we are renovating the kitchen because right now it's more of a country style so we're making it more of a modern kind of glass and cement and very open and woods and Bit, maybe a little bit more rustic, rustic meets minimalist and modern um, so that it, it fits the whole rest of the house and the, the vibe of the rest of our Adelaide house. So we'll be going back to Adelaide to just get into all of that. Um, I've become obsessed with shopping. I can't stop buying baby clothes. I think it's a problem. Uh, Mark and I keep laughing about it because I keep seeing all these adorable little things. Today I found something so cute. Did I bring it in here? I don't think I have it in here. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'll just check. I think it's probably, I don't know. I'm on a rolly chair. I'll just check if it's right close so I can show you. Yes, here it is. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to be shopping for baby clothes, but sure enough, I found some baby clothes. Um, we were at, took our friends to the Gap, um, to the Grove in LA, which is a very kind of popular and a bit touristy, um, shopping spot in LA. It's an outdoor mall and sh she wanted to try and find some stockings for her little girls. And so she was like, oh, why don't we pop into this store? And I was like, yeah, sure. Knowing that I was going to find a thousand things that I wanted to buy. Um, I mean adorable rainbows so my thing little rainbows little rainbow onesie um these little pants so cute it's so funny to think that she's gonna be in them so soon um like 12 more weeks uh, that's if she decides to come on time but oh it's getting very exciting but i really I have to stop myself now because it's too much. She's going to have too many clothes. And I already have so many of the boys' clothes, so I don't really need many more clothes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and cut myself off on the baby girl clothes shopping. Um, but, yeah, it's just been it's been a great week. It's a lot of travel. I was quite tired from that. Oh, yeah, this rib pain, I'm feeling it. I think it's my ribs are just sort of starting to stretch out a little bit um, as there's less and less room. 
Um, belly is humongous. Every single person says it to me, which is quite a funny thing to say to a pregnant woman. But um, there's just no doubt that I have a huge belly for how far along I am. I definitely look a lot closer to 35 weeks and I'm 28 weeks. So I don't know how much more I'm going to grow. I guess so much more, but it's massive. And it, it is a lot bigger at the end of the day than it is at the beginning. Um, but yeah, so this week's been great. I've been doing quite a fair bit of self-care, especially because I got really tired in, in Minnesota. And I went and took a work trip and I saw this incredible woman called Noreen Gosh. Um, if you don't know her story, Google it. She is an advocate for uh, exploited and missing children and her son sadly was kidnapped when he was 12 years old from um, West Des Moines, Iowa and he was on his paper route and it's a really terrible story but she is an incredible hero and she's a survivor and she's a total badass and I got to meet her in person so that was one of the highlights of the week for me was just talking to her for hours I wanted to know more about her and just where she found her strength and um I really loved meeting her so that was a wonderful part of the week and in between kind of the travel and the work and having friends here I've been managing to cultivate some self-care in the form of baths with lavender salts and birthing hour podcast so the birth hour and australian birth stories my two podcasts i've been listening to whilst having my big glass of iced crunch and just like smelling the aroma of lavender it is my favorite thing in the world and i've been sleeping much better this week too so the pregnancy insomnia seems to have gone away which is fantastic um all right i'm gonna go back to it all the kids are asleep which is fantastic and so I'm going to chill out for a bit, which is great. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, I'll show you my belly again, the wobbly chair. Hopefully you don't. Yeah, no, it's fine. Whoa, look at that belly. There we go. That is a big, a big baby belly. And she's very active, always at the same time, like right in the morning right about lunchtime and then whenever I'm in the bath she just starts moving which is really cool um all right guys we're well, sending love Mwah! I will see you next week officially for my first week in my third trimester it's crazy um okay bye